everybody and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a shop miss a haul if you don't already know it's a website that sells pretty goddamn cheap makeup that's why i ordered quite a lot of stuff literally most items in this haul is under a pound or just a few items are slightly over and yeah I was on the website and I was just throwing everything into my basket because it was so cheap. Everything um, all together came to just under £35 I think. So for me getting all of these products for that amount of money was not that much. So yeah everything came and arrived within like a week or so. Like it wasn't too long the shipping considering how cheap everything is. I'm going to use everything daily and I think this is like all the makeup that I'm going to use sort of every single day and then if I kind of go on nights out or anything I'll probably use um like my more expensive kind of foundations and things like that not that i wear expensive foundations anyway but compared to the cheapness of this makeup they they do seem more expensive i have a first impressions of this makeup coming on friday so stick around for that if you want to see that it's going to be a very long video um because i've already started editing because i've kind of already filmed it before this video and it, yeah it's very long um so yeah let's get into the haul First of all, I have this. So this is like a fluffy headband. It's very similar to the ones that I used to sell on my website, Fresh Faced, but I don't have my website anymore. I sell on Etsy and eBay now, and I don't actually sell these headbands anymore. Um, so I picked this up thinking like, that looks very similar. It is actually um, a lot thinner, like mine was a thicker headband. And also there is a little bit of a stitching coming out here, which you wouldn't have got with the other headbands that I used to sell, but it's very soft. It is nice and soft and it's a nice size, like it fits nicely and it looks cute. And yeah, I really, really love this. So this is gonna be my everyday headband for when I'm doing my skincare and my makeup i think i do have a bit of makeup on it already but you know that's to be expected also to wash these if you have if you've purchased some of my headbands in the past to wash these pop them in the washing machine maybe like if you're washing one of your towels or something pop it in with that and then just put in some fabric conditioner and it will be soft trust me it will get back to its original softness so this is what it kind of looks like up close um my camera is trying to focus on my face rather than this but who cares um so yeah then on the hair front i got this nature's spirit coconut oil and this is basically like a little oil that i'm gonna be using to soften my hair i wanted an oil for quite a while just so that my hair can be a little bit softer in the daytime and i used to use a hair oil when i was a little bit younger and i've been wanting to get one for a while so got that also in terms of hair products i saw this remember everything is less than a pound i'm just blown away this is a hair mask this is the balm to oil pre-shower deep hair treatment and you are meant to pop this on before you go and have a shower basically onto dry hair the texture of it is actually really weird i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's a really hard texture it kind of reminds me of like sheer butter or coconut oil and that's kind of weird um so you'll see in my first impressions on friday like my opinions of this but I'm not sure on it yet. I'm just gonna say that. And then finally, for things that aren't makeup, this is the last non-makeup item. This is the hydrating facial mask with hyaluronic acid. I saw this, I saw the word hyaluronic acid and hydrating and I was like, yes, please. I have my own tea tree clay face mask that I make and sell myself on Etsy and eBay, linked in the description if you're wondering. And this is basically a more hydrating version. So I like to kind of mix and match with more kind of like clay masks and then some days have hydrating ones hyaluronic acid is the perfect ingredient for skin hydration and just making your skin really nice and soft and plump and yeah it looks kind of like a clay consistency on the inside and it does kind of set on your skin which is nice but it does feel really really soft when you take it off and your skin does feel really soft and considering this is like 70 something p that's such a bargain and i would highly recommend this if you're looking for something that is going to make your skin really soft and it's super cheap would recommend now for makeup items i'm gonna try and talk these through in a sort of a kind of order which means like from primer to the last product i would normally use so the first thing that i've got is this aoa aqua primer it's an aqua hydrating face primer and i picked up the hydrating one because i kind of like to have more of a hydrating glowy base before i do my makeup that's just how i like my face to look and to be 
but I think they do have other primers as well, so I picked that up. I did also want a setting spray, but it actually came as a duo, so these two came together the setting spray and also a priming spray so i did actually have a primer as well and it's the a plus primer spray and the bottle is blue i actually really like the smell of this i've already used this a few times and i love the smell of this and i obviously only really got that because it came as a set with the setting spray but i do actually quite like it it's kind of nice and refreshing to pop onto your skin before you're doing makeup it kind of cools your face down this will be great in summer and i do really really like this then i have a foundation so this was just over a pound i think this is the aoa studio pro wear foundation it says it's full coverage you get 30 mil and mine is in the shade ivory so it does actually look quite a pale shade like this looks like it's going to be quite light um sorry if the camera's not picking that up um but actually what i find with this is that it is actually a decent um like whatever you call it for my skin like a, de a decent um match for my skin but it is a little bit yellow toned and usually i don't necessarily go for like really yellow toned products i have it on my skin today and obviously you'll see it in friday's video um but yeah i thought i would give this a try because it's only just over a pound like if this is amazing then i will be repurchasing then i have the concealer this is the aoa studio liquid concealer and mine is in the shade porcelain this is quite a pale shade but it does go like match quite nicely with the foundation that i've got and it's in a little tube and i think the actual like end of this is like oh there we go is like that so you have to kind of like pop it on the back of your hand and then apply it um so yeah i picked that up I was actually running out of my concealer so I kind of needed a new one and then I also got a contour stick now I am not usually the person to use contour sticks or to you know contour with cream products or bronze with cream products but I just wanted to pick this up and try it because I do contour with a powder but I'm just getting bored of my powder and I've had it for like six years so I should probably check it out but this is the AOA Studio Sculpt FX contour stick and that's what it looks like and basically I'm going to use this to pop it on my cheekbones and just underneath my jawline and maybe a little bit down my nose just to contour and see how it goes and see how it blends and lasts and everything like that so you'll see in Friday's video how this goes and how it lasts and hopefully it blends all right um but yeah it's just that kind of shade i don't know if i got it in like a specific kind of shade but um yeah i did i got it in the shade earth that's weird then i did pick up two brushes here we have them um these i think they came as a set for just over a pound for the both of them together otherwise i know i wouldn't have bought this one um but i thought you know what i haven't used a brush to apply my makeup for ages i've just been using a beauty blender and i thought yeah i want to try a couple of brushes so these are the ones that i've got this is the aoa studio high definition brush and it says it's f4 if you're interested in finding this particular one on their website and this one is also the high definition brush in e104 so yeah that's what's on their website spoiler alert for friday's video i love this foundation brush it's probably my favorite thing in this whole haul because it's made my makeup so much quicker to do and it blends my foundation so nicely i didn't used to like brushes for applying foundation and i used to switch to beauty blenders because they blend everything in without streaks um, but this blends everything without streaks and it's so cheap and it's amazing and I literally want like 10 of these because I love them um, So yeah, I use that for blending in foundation and concealer and I use this one for blending in my contour um, With the contour stick that I've just shown you but yeah, this is a really nice kind of brush You can blend it in really quickly by just like brushing it in or you can like um, pat it in or buff it in which is just nice and then the little one here which could be used as a concealer brush but i just use it for contour my feet are so so numb oh my god then we have powder so this is the aoa studio perfect finishing pressed powder this one's in the shade ivory and initially looking at this product a lot of powder comes off when i just open that so it probably won't last too long because the powder will probably just fly everywhere but it's a perfect shade match for my skin just a casual powder nothing really more to say about this product but yeah picked that up and i'm also running out of my powder anyway so i kind of need a new one and i'm not the kind of person to splurge on powders anyway so i don't mind a cheap one so this is what it like looks like up close and yeah it's just a casual powder can't open the damn thing 
There we go, and it just looks like that. So hopefully it'll be nice and mattifying. Now we have the Amuse Cosmetics 2-in-1 Blush and Bronzer. So I don't know if this has a particular shade name. It doesn't actually say on it. Um, I don't know if this is just meant to be for every single skin type because trust me, this would not work for every skin, single skin type. Um, but it fits kind of semi-perfectly for mine. So you have bronzer on one side and blusher on the other. I can imagine that this will be quite pigmented because I've had something similar to this before. But the blusher in particular looks like the kind of shade that I just really like love and go for. It's kind of like a peachy pink kind of like shade. So if you wanna see what this is like, then stay tuned till Friday. But I think that's just a bargain, like a two in one product. My feet are so numb. I swear, oh my God. I swear I say this in every video. I'm actually scared that one day I'll break my ankle when my feet are numb and I won't even know about it. And then when the feeling in my feet come back, I will feel the pain and yeah. Just give me a minute. <laughs> oh no, this is when the pain hits. We need to power through, we need to power through, we won't be long with this video. Come on Georgie, you can do this. Oh my god, it's getting worse, it's getting worse. Oh, also, whilst I'm kind of like semi sat down, I also got, oh my God, sorry, I'm swearing. Um, but I also got this ring. This is just literally 70 something P and it's a snake ring. And I love this, like it fits me perfectly as well. And on the website, you cannot choose a size. You just have to have the size that they give you. And in the reviews, loads of people said that it was too small for them. And I thought, perfect, because my like hands are pretty small anyway. So it's definitely gonna fit me. If anything, it's slightly too big, but it does fit and it does stay on. And I really love it. So yeah, super happy with that. Okay, now I think my legs are coming back to the earth. Um, here we have the AOA Studio Dewy Cream Highlighter. Now when I got this, I didn't actually realise that this was a cream highlighter. I thought this was a powder because I would not have bought it if I thought it was a cream highlighter. But it's actually really, really nice. It's quite iridescent. It is like more of like a silvery kind of like shimmery colour and usually I prefer highlighters that are more goldy but it does shimmer and shine really nicely and it is very pigmented obviously you'll see in my first impressions what this looks like but for the price that you paid this is really nice and I was actually quite surprised it's super blendable as well sorry that this is like a semi review and haul because I have filmed my first impressions already before this video even though I'm not posting it yet and it means that I'm trying not to review the products as I'm talking about them now because I know that my review is coming on Friday. And also my review is coming on Friday for my first impressions and then I think either the following week or the week after that I will have a full face of Shop Miss A and I will do a wear test throughout the day. So yeah, a lot of Shop Miss A. Next up I have this. This is an eyeshadow palette. They had loads of eyeshadow palettes on their website and I literally was there for ages trying to pick one but this is the Midnight Queen eyeshadow palette and I think I've tried almost every single shade out of this palette so far and I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today I'm using like this gray kind of color with a mixture of the white in the video on Friday I do kind of go for more of the purpley shades but for 70 something P this was like 75 P 75 P for an entire palette like doesn't that just blow your mind like that's actually crazy like look at those shades the only thing that i could say is that there's only one matte shade and the rest are shimmery which is kind of strange to me but we can work with it for 75p i think that's really good and i would recommend going and checking out some of their other palettes because that is such a cheap price like honestly mind blown then for eyebrows i picked up this eye this eye pencil, this is the Slim Brow Eye Pencil from AOA. And on one side we have the spoolie, which you use to kind of like brush through your brows. Always need a spoolie to brush through my brows. And then on the other side we have the actual brush. And I wanted a pencil eyebrow product because I wanted to do my eyebrows more naturally and just to have like a finer like little product to use to make my eyebrows look a little bit more natural. Um, spoiler alert, this is how I've done my brows today using this product and another spoiler, 
I do love this. This is probably my favorite product I bought. So I'm definitely gonna repurchase this off their website when this runs out. Also for eye product, I have the AOA Studio Go Brow. This is a brow gel and I just wanted to pick something up that would keep my brows like in place. And there isn't actually that much product in here. Like it doesn't feel like there's barely anything in here. So I'm not sure I would repurchase this, but it's in the shade. I have no idea. Don't know what the shade is, but it's like a brown kind of thing. And the writing is already rubbing off the packaging. Does that mean that this has been used before or does it just mean it's terrible quality? I, I don't know if I'd recommend this. Okay, I also picked up this. This is the Amuse Cosmetics Eyeliner Gel and it's in the shade black. And I just wanted a new eyeliner because my old eyeliner was kind of like running low and it was more of like a pen kind of thing whereas this is like a little kind of pomade gel it does come with a brush which is actually decent i use it in the video on friday but um i do actually use a little bit more of a thinner brush to apply this with but that brush is actually pretty good and it is decent as well but yeah um it's very pigmented i wanted this i've got it on my eyes today just because it's cheap and also because I thought it might be interesting to use and I also have more control over how much product I have on the brush as well with this. Then I also picked up a couple of like mascara products. First of all, I have the AOA Studio Fat Lash Primer Mascara. This is like, um, kind of like what you apply on your lashes before you apply your actual mascara and it's meant to make your lashes like last longer throughout the day and also more like voluminous then i got the fat lash mascara from aoa which kind of complements that priming product and it's just like kind of black shade and it's a plastic applicator and yeah i use both of these in combination with each other so you'll see my opinion of these on friday then i got these lashes so yes they don't actually look like this when you get them i have tried them um these are the cara beauty 100 percent human hair which freaked me out in the first impressions because i was like human hair like isn't that creepy is that just me i don't know um but yeah these are actually really good and they're actually the only lashes i've ever used that don't make me look ridiculous but the only problem is is i can't apply these properly i don't know how to apply lashes i need some help somebody help me then for lips i got this lip liner this is from la colors it's the auto lip liner in the shade perfect brown and it's a lip liner where you twist it up like this i didn't want a lip liner where you have to sharpen it because i just cannot do that like i end up just cutting the whole thing off accidentally and it just never sharpens so i always go for lip liners where you can twist it up and yeah really like this it's a nice color so just pick that up because i always line my lips no matter what product i use then I got this lipstick, which I personally think looks quite premium. Like the packaging itself does look quite, you know, luxurious and expensive. However, it isn't um, feeling expensive. It feels very plastic. This lipstick is in the shade Smooth Whisper. And it's just a nude shade, like it's just a classic nude. And I don't have it on my lips today, so I can't show it, but you'll see it on Friday. And yeah, it's just a nice kind of nudie shade. I just like more kind of nudie toned products because I just feel like they're just, I don't know, I just like them, okay? I don't need to explain myself. And um, so I got that. It smells ridiculously like crayons. So <laughs> I don't know what about that is, but it literally just smells like pure crayon and yeah it's like a creamy kind of like texture rather than um, a matte texture it's like a satin texture then finally for this video i have this this is obviously the setting spray which i showed when i showed the priming spray and this one is in a pink bottle the other one was a blue bottle this one is a pink bottle and this is what i apply to my face after i've done my makeup just to set everything in place and yeah i needed a setting spray i actually hadn't got one so i wanted to pick this up and it came in the set of two so i was super happy with that so that's everything that I got for this haul. What I did like when I received my order is that they actually had this little um, checklist on here and they checked everything off and ticked it off, which just goes to show that they were making sure that everything was in there because I was worried that not everything would be. But I'm very happy with everything. This was like the most successful haul I've ever done. I would highly recommend going and checking out Shop Miss A. And yeah, on Friday, you will see my opinions of everything, like my first impressions and like my favorite products. 
but yeah this is everything that i have and that i've shown i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe for more videos from me if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video goodbye